a real threat, which uh, hopefully it's not. But I think you should be prepared. They're the last line of defense against terrorists. And tonight, they got some tips from the experts. First at 10, with terrorist attacks becoming a constant threat around the world, local law enforcement authorities are taking new steps to prepare for the unthinkable. Today, members of several area police departments took part in a conference on terrorism to discuss ways of preventing a terror attack here at home. Ryan Kelly joins us live in the McLennan County newsroom with more. Ryan? That's right, Sharon. Preventing a terror attack in Central Texas lies solely on the shoulders of local law enforcement. And with President Bush and Fort Hood, our next-door neighbors, local police officers are taking their training to the next level in hopes of curbing an attack here at home. It's a scene that has become all too common in the Middle East. However, suicide bombings still seem foreign to most Central Texans. And actually, that's the mission of the latest terrorism training conference in Waco, to keep it that way. There's a kind of feeling maybe that this is not really a, a real threat, which uh, hopefully it's not but I think you should be prepared. More than 170 officers from around the area, some as far as Denton and Mesquite, came to Waco to learn the latest tactics in dealing with terror threats, and more specifically, where they are likely to strike. A lot of the terrorism targets tend to involve crowds and people, and you know, large congregations of people, and it's just something we have to think about in terms of security issues, in terms of staffing issues, in terms of everything we do and say. Well, you've also got uh, some installations here that are very important, Baylor University and stadiums and things like that. So uh, we feel that it's important. They, the police felt it was important. They actually asked us to come here. Although the conference mainly focuses you know, on specific terror incidents and strategies to and prevent so them, uh, it also broadens its scope to include education on Muslim culture and a look inside the mind of a terrorist. The goal is to give law enforcement officials every tool they need to identify a terror situation when it arrives. If we encounter someone who's suspicious, we would probably have a better idea of how to react and what questions to ask and so forth. More importantly, they may learn just the right technique to prevent a possible terror attack from occurring in the first place. Waco police officials say Central Texas will remain a high terror target as long as the president remains in office. They know they can't stop terrorists from coming here. Their goal is to stop them from succeeding. Reporting live in the McLennan County Newsroom, Ryan Kelly. Now back to you. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Good evening, everyone. Suicide bombers are now the choice of weapons for extremist terrorist groups who are willing to die for their cause. Eyewitness News reporter Maurice Hestemay in the newsroom now live to tell us how local authorities are trying to learn to spot suicide bombers and militants. Maurice. Well, since September 11th, the local officials had to be extra vigilant. Today, several of them were at Pat Thomas Academy learning how to counter terrorism. September 11th will forever be etched in the minds of Americans, a day when terrorists took their own lives and that of thousands of Americans. Friday, more than 30 law enforcement officials and first responders were at Pat Thomas Academy learning firsthand how these terrorist groups operate. We've been working hard on getting the word out and giving awareness training on this since uh, the FBI warned of uh, suicide bombing being a possibility back in May when they uh, sent a bulletin out to 18,000 agencies in this country. This counterterrorism expert from Israel has been on a tour educating authorities on suicide bombers and their possible threat to the U.S. There were some terrorist cells apprehended here in the U.S., in Buffalo, New York, in Arlington, Texas, and we can't ignore what happened on September the 11th. And the terrorists were actually here living here in Florida, learning here to fly. And it's all part of the awareness they must develop in order to uh, counter this threat. These men will now take that knowledge and bring it back to their respective agencies. Even the law enforcement are going to be usually 9 out of 10 times the first ones there. Um, the threat exists, and I may be called to respond to that. And, Knowing a little bit more uh, mainly history and how these people work and how they operate and what actions they take upon us may help me in the future. A future that depends not only on law enforcement but on the public as we work together protecting this country. Now this 10-day week seminar will wrap up in Washington, D.C. next week. So Maurice, as you suggested, the public can play a part in all of this. How is that? Well, what they can do is keep their eyes and ears open and they make sure that any time they see something suspicious, they should alert authorities. This way we can prevent another terrorist attack. All right, Maurice Estime, thank you.
Over the past three years, local law enforcement agencies have been forced to deal with the threat of terrorism, and today they learn firsthand about their history and what motivates them to kill. More than 30 law enforcement officials and first responders were at Pat Thomas Academy learning the ins and outs of counterterrorism. Organizers say suicide bombing seems to be the weapon of choice in Iraq and the United States. They say the key to protecting our country is to get first-hand knowledge about how these terrorist groups operate. We have to keep an eye out. We have to keep in mind that 9-11 was an act of suicide terror. And uh, it was a complicated act, but um, there's much more simple ways of achieving this. And it's important for us to be aware and our officers who are on the street every day to keep an eye on suspicious behavior. Officials say the public can also play a part by notifying authorities when they see anything suspicious. So far, terrorist cells have been detected. A Florida security company takes Israeli know-how and puts it into American context. Today, more than 15 law enforcement agencies, including the Tallahassee Police Department, attended a day-long seminar at the Pat Thomas Law Enforcement Academy. First responders learned not only how to spot suicide bombers, but also learned how terrorists recruit, organize, and gather intelligence. The seminar was led by a captain from the Israeli Defense Force. An officer from TPD's hazardous device team says in this day and age, it's better to be prepared. Don't just look at the large icons or the larger cities or whatever because just as they get more training, more money, more preparation, um, you know, may turn the target somewhere else. I mean, that could be Tallahassee, that could be anywhere. And, uh, we have to be prepared. Next Monday, the training seminar will be offered in Washington, D.C.